Hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to week three of Building Mandalore, guys. Very excited. Again, you guys keep blowing my mind. I think last week's segment is like closing in like 80,000 to 100,000 views. Last time I checked, it was like over 80,000. So again, thank you guys so much. Like Mandalore has just blowing my mind with the excitement from you guys. I, I, again, like I said last video, I'm shocked to see how many of you are really interested in that. That's fantastic. So today, today is building. We're actually um, not laying out anything. We are actually building the mock, like stuff that will permanently be in the mock. Um, I thought the, the main way to go about this mock is to actually build from the bottom up. So just like you would a house, you start with the foundation and you build upwards. Same kind of concept. Um, I'm not gonna rush into any walls or any particular areas. I think starting off with the main courtyard, the snot uh, kind of technique along with some tile work and just actually a lot of different methods for what we're gonna be doing in that courtyard is kind of what we're focusing on today. So all of those geometrical shapes I kind of showed you guys that that main floor is made on, that's what we're gonna actually tackle today. Um, I gotta say, uh, it's probably the most amount of shapes that I've made out of snot technique is what you're gonna see. So pretty interesting, I think it is at least. And then of course, I'm gonna do a time lapse today so you guys will get to see me build like this humongous part of the uh, courtyard. Um, throughout like three hours of time. So very excited to show you guys that. And before we jump into the segment, just wanna let you guys know that our sponsor is my own website, Minifigs for You. Definitely check that out if you're interested in my custom minifigures. I'm actually gonna be restocking, I believe, Cody, Rex, Wolf, and Delta Squad here in the coming weeks. So if you wanna stay tuned on the website, if you're interested in those minifigures, they really help um, in terms of funding for Mandalore. And you'll find out by the end of this segment that I really, um, I'm. I'm definitely putting in some Bricklink orders. Even though I have all of this Lego on hand, there are still things I still have to order uh, for Mandalore. We'll go ahead and jump into the segment right now. Okay, so if you guys can't tell, <laughs> I have started working on Mandalore. So this part right here is what I have started on. Um, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna dive right into this and we're just gonna start with this huge courtyard area. Um, mainly because it may, it honestly makes the most sense. Um, if I start building buildings all the way around it, um, then it'll be hard to like actually like place things over here and build those stairs and such. So it makes sense to actually get the, at least most of the courtyard done, the main floor. So that way I'm not like in a real tricky position trying to build things over there. Um, so it makes more sense to just start here. Um, I know everybody wants to start seeing the buildings and all of that, but uh, that will come probably in like a week or two. Um, but yeah. So what I did is I first started off with just putting this uh, just normal, pretty basic floor using the, um, what are these, the six by six gray tiles. Um, frankly enough, I have, I don't know if you can see them over there. They're in that bin. Um, but I have like hundreds. I think I, remember I, yeah, I believe I bought like a thousand of these off uh, online pick a brick from lego.com. It was literally years ago. Um, it was when they were selling them for like 30 cents each and now they go for like a dollar fifty each. So um, I got really lucky with that. So I have a whole bunch of these and that I've never really fully utilized in any mock yet. So that's exciting. So I went ahead and just did a whole line of these down this way. And the reason why I decided to do this is, well, one, it looks fine. But two is I wanted just kind of this blank space area for when we build those platforms out this way, we'll have um, basically this is almost like empty because it's really easy to tear this up and all of that. So it's giving me that freedom. So when I need to build those uh, outer platforms that it's not going to be uh, too tricky. And it also acts as a uh, kind of a barrier for when uh, I'm working here, parts don't come flying off onto the ground or anything like that. So also helps in that regard as well. So, what are you looking at right here? Um, so this is the the beginning of the courtyard, is this whole area right here. I cannot tell you how long I have spent on this one gray area with the tan. I spent literally four hours just trying to figure out how to make this correctly. Um, and what I'm specifically trying to make is, and I'll pull my phone up, you can see it right here. It's this dark, like you can see the dark tan. It kind of looks almost like a navy blue, but I'm just going to use dark gray right here. Just 
because there's a lot more. I have dark gray available and I think it looks fine. Um, but yeah, no, I was trying to create that shape and I went through so many different, you know, pieces and iterations. Like the, this was a, a wedge plate at one point and ultimately I, I tore apart some of my Mandalorian speeder right there uh, for these parts right here. So I could, I can make this. It's kind of like a snot tile. It's like a mix of all techniques, honestly. And everything just kind of fits in perfectly. The reason why, so here's a little fun fact, is if you have tiles like this underneath, right? You have tiles uh, right here. If you put a snot, uh, snot pieces, so like a one by four brick, um, it sits flat, but it's slightly less elevated to the tile. But if you put it on studs like this, put it on studs like that, then it will actually be the exact perfect height to the tile so it all looks like it's blended together and matching um, and i did the same thing right here as well uh, to create this uh, kind of flowing shape it's obviously not perfect to what it looks like here i do know that but it's about as good as i could get it honestly um i spent so many hours just coming up with so many iterations and uh, i think i finally got it to where i like it now um, i'm sure a lot of you will ask uh, why are you leaving the studs like this? I think this is something I like where it's a nice um, kind of blend of snot technique of tiles and studs. So that way we'll have, you know, some areas where the Mandalorians can actually stick and they won't be constantly uh, falling over. So I put a lot of time into this one little area. Hope it was worth it. I think it looks good. I do realize that obviously in the photo, it's all on the same level. Um, so the, the tan should be here, but there is no real way of doing that. Um, for so many reasons, I won't go into it, but I, I tried. <laughs> I have tried. Um, I think this is the best I could do. And honestly, it's not a big deal. It really is just one little detail in that picture. I have so much more that's going to come. So this shouldn't even be, you know, on your guys' list of things to really hate on <laughs> if it's not perfect. <laughs> Um, so yeah, now I moved on to this upper bigger section, which is far more important. So this part right here, or my pointer finger is, this is what I'm building right here. Um, now I've gone through a lot of iterations to get the sizing. It was actually much bigger than this when I first built it, but I think I've nailed it and I like how this size is because it's going to have to be mimicked on this side as well. And as you can see with how big this is already sticking out here, we're losing space because that's where the mural is, where that black line is, that first one. So um, it's gonna be a little tight. I might have to make um, this blue, I don't know if it's a pond. Um, I might have to make that a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, but I think I can do it. Um, so the goal today is to actually get this midsection done. Unfortunately, I don't have the trans blue I'll need for that middle part, um, or at least not enough. Um, I, as you can see, I don't have much trans blue. Not to worry, I've ordered a uh, BrickLink order of just literally nothing but trans blue pieces, and that'll be here in like a week or two. So we'll make do without it, but uh, the goal is to kind of get this midsection done, maybe even make our way into one of these tan areas. We'll see. Um, but the plan is that all of this will be snot, uh, but the surrounding area will be kind of more like this, where you have some, some tiles, some snot, and some uh, normal studded plates. That's the goal. Now, uh, in terms of making this, I actually reference back to a good old part of Kashyyyk, if you guys remember this. Um, so definitely study, <laughs> study how this was made. So this actually, this whole piece was, um, I had help from uh, an old friend of mine. You guys might know Brick Plumber. He's the one who made that giant Lego Hoth creation. So he's the one who helped me out with this. And what's funny is this is what's helping me create this and get all of um, these things lining up correctly and, and making it work and uh, it's still working like this is basically like a little guide for me to figure out how slopes and snot kind of work and it's still to this day a little part of Kashyyyk is helping me out so I think that's kind of funny um, but yeah as you guys can also see I've really taken a, a, a use of the ping pong table I would say um, in terms of utilizing space you know I have all my bends out a lot of different parts and such uh, that I've collected over the last couple months. And this whole bin right here 
this is all just leftovers from crate um, and this isn't even the stuff that's sorted out from crate so there's even more than this and then this is stuff from Kashyyyk believe it or not um, so yeah have a great great start off point where I can actually go right into building don't have to wait too much on brick link orders really the only thing I needed to order was um, translucent pieces translucent blue um, but uh, everything else, at least for this courtyard, I definitely have on hand. Um, we'll see once we start building the structures around. Probably going to have to make some more BrickLink orders. But in terms of getting this courtyard done, I should have basically all the parts on hand. Which means we should be able to get this done pretty quickly. So that's very exciting. Alright, so I'm going to take a break from this. I've spent like... I know it doesn't look like it, but I've spent so many hours. I think like six to eight hours just on this one little area. Just to figure it out. A lot of it was just sizing, but now that this is done and I have a good idea of scale and stuff, the whole rest of the bit should go a lot faster. Um, but I'm probably going to take a break and try and t attempt at making something else. Alright guys, so I spent the last, oh god, probably like two hours, maybe a little bit less, working on this. This is actually a very important structure right here. Um, let me pull my phone up again. If you see here... On the sides remember these kind of buildings that look like this um, that whole shape right there the translucent shape wanted to create that so again we're getting an idea of scale and um, I know maybe my camera isn't doing justice but it really is pretty tall I mean there's the gunship back there so maybe you get an idea of scale it's just as yeah it's just about the same height as the gunship actually and uh, you know you can see that we're doing multiple floors of these so <laughs> You should get a better idea of like, okay, if we take this three times, that's going to be how high Mandalore is going to be. You know, this is going to be a very, very big mock. Um, and I'm very happy to finally see um, some more progress again. Some more prototyping. You guys know how I like to do that. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you. It took me a little bit of time to kind of figure out. The main, uh, the hardest part was just kind of getting this uh, piece kind of centered perfectly in there. I had to use some... Uh, modified plates there to kind of correct it and get it in the middle but it uh, looks good so um, i'm happy with this design so i'm probably actually going to stick with it um hope you guys like it too you know if for some reason you don't think it looks like it um i know it looks very thin um in the in the iphone here the iphone photo i know the these pieces look very thin inside that glass and this looks a, a lot thicker in person but you also have to keep in mind that those are little tiny people so the scale um, of these things is a lot bigger than you guys might think based off that photo um, But yeah, so they'll be Based off the photo there. There'll be six on each side. So I have to make 12 of these um, Like I was saying just a lot, little while ago um, This is all the translucent blue that I have on hand right now. I've ordered a lot more So don't worry about that more is on the way um, In the next like week or two. I'll have that order um, but this is a great start, so we can finally get a better scale of Mandalore, I think, a little bit. Um, so we'll have four on the bottom here, and uh, there'll be another two on the second floor. Um, but that this is exciting. I can finally get an idea of, like, okay, that's how that's going to be, and like now I can start scaling other things around this. Um, so yeah, it's a great, great starting off tipping point. Hope you guys like the design. I'm very happy with it. I think it looks really good looks mandalorian i think um looks really good if you put the mandalorian speeder looks really good next to it i think um i know it's it's something little but also complicated but also like important all at the same time um but it'll, it'll be worth it all right so now that we have that design done i'm gonna probably actually come back to this and we're gonna try and see how much work i can do on this and i think i'm sure you guys want to see it we'll jump into time lapse i'll build this and we'll see what it looks like, so let's go.
Okay guys, so after that long time lapse, uh, I think it was about, it's like roughly two or three hours. Um, but you can see now I have it fully complete and it's looking really good actually. I really like the uh, geometrical shapes, the symmetry on each side. Um, it's actually looking really good. It's a good start to, uh, to Mandalore. Also very happy to see that uh, basically all of this Lego is shiny and brand new. This is all from Kashyyyk, guys. And uh, I'm surprised there's no coloration, no scratches. It's, you can literally see my camera. It's like super shiny looking. Um, so that's very exciting to, uh, to know that all of this Lego is still very usable and viable. Uh, for this mock so that's great and it's also really nice that I was able to build this um, I wouldn't say fast but it was just nice having to have most of the parts on hand you could kind of see in the time lots I had to look through I had to find another bin over there full of uh, even more uh, parts to uh, find particular pieces that I was looking for to uh, to finish that other side now I said I was going to continue over to the tan part and Ultimately, um, I'm going to need some other pieces, some um, sand blue pieces. This is the dark blue color, but there's this, uh, I don't know, I don't have an example of it around here, but there's the sand blue color. I think, yeah, that's that's the color right there. Um, so I need to get some of those pieces because I want some, uh, some sections that are sand blue in between that before I continue over. But I did want to put this together and give you an idea of kind of what that's going to look like. I'm actually probably going to swap these slope pieces out um, with what I've kind of been doing here with these type of slope pieces. So I'm going to um, use the this right here, this type of tan piece, uh, so have this type of slope uh, rather than how it is right now. It's more of like a 45 degree angle rather than, I think this is like a 15 degree angle. Um, but unfortunately I didn't have any tan pieces in the, uh, in the inverted slope version of this. So I'm going to have to make an uh, order to uh, BrickLink. And speaking of tan pieces, this is like all I have on hand of tan. Um, this is what was left over from um, Scarif, actually. So I was just, you know, seeing what I had on hand. I had a bunch of, uh, of these pieces right here. Um, and they're pretty handy, so I'm probably actually going to use these to build out this whole uh, side section on both sides right here. Um, so it's, it's going pretty well, actually. Unfortunately, can't do too much more today with this, but now you have a pretty good idea of what I have in mind. Um, now, the other thing is you'll notice that there is not any room right there. So what I'm going to do is slide this down five studs. Yes, five studs. Um, and then I'll have one thing of, uh, of gray brick going across here. That'll give me, I don't know like 12-ish studs to work there. That's really not much to work with that other kind of, uh, uh, it's supposed to be another like trans blue area in front of that mural. Um, so I'm gonna have to squish it or something to make it work. But I mean, hey, I think it'll ultimately look better that way um, because the how I have it set up right here, you can kind of see it's almost centered. The Look at the white portion, you can see it's almost centered to the gray base plate on each side. So it's it's coming along pretty well. By the way, this white portion, this is totally temporary. Like I said, it will be replaced with um, with trans blue. It'll actually be a little bit narrower, um, so it's not going to be a perfect square how it is right now, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, so the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. It's it's going to be a bit of a pain. It's going to take like a couple, good, probably 30 minutes just to uh, move this entire thing down because I, like, I put so many plates down and stuff. It's going to take a second and I have to rip all the tile up and just move it down. So let me do that and then uh, we'll take a look and see what it looks like from there. Okay guys, so it's uh, definitely a lot better now that I've uh, moved it down those five studs. You can see here, definitely a better amount of room, not, not a great amount of room unfortunately. Um, but I'll work with that room that we have right there. Um, I think it's big enough to to do what we're going to try to do here. So I'm not too, too worried. But uh, yeah. Well, guys, uh, I think that's about it. Um, I wanted to get more done, unfortunately. Um, it's just... <laughs> it's really a matter of just somehow... I thought I needed all the pieces, but I didn't really think about tan pieces for some reason. That wasn't on my mind. But we definitely have a fantastic start to Mandalore now. Um, you can definitely get an idea of 
you know, what exactly this whole courtyard is going to look like and, and this type of scale. Plus now we've also uh, built this window. You can also get a better idea of scale as well, just how kind of big this thing it really is going to be. So I'm pretty excited. Um, it's also, it's feeling more like a Lego room now with all the pieces and everything scattered. Ideally, I want to use this big shelf to organize all of these bricks on here. Um, just me and Meredith just haven't had the time to really get down and, and sort through all of the, you know, it's, it's like, this is bricks, that's slopes, that's everything, you know, um, and then also probably should just start taking some of the parts out of these bins and put it on the shelf as well. So definitely need to get on that. Uh, maybe that's something I'll do over. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and head out guys. Okay guys, what do you think? Um, I'm very curious to see what you think of the snot technique being utilized for all the shapes. I think accurately, uh, it looks great. Um, like practically with all the minifigures that are gonna be on this mock. Debatable, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see um, where it goes. But what I'm thinking is that I'm just gonna have um, like the front minifigure, the front side of the minifigures are gonna be kind of, there's gonna be areas with studs and then towards the middle, I don't think there'll be as much shake on the table. So I think I can get away with just standing them up on the actual sideways Lego or the snot um, technique that I've been using. Um, I'm also considering putting in, you know, uh, bricks with the studs on the side. So you can actually just have the minifigure have a stud they can stand there. I might put a few of those in there, but I'm not gonna put a bunch um, because I have no idea the battlescape exactly where things are gonna go. I really like to build mocks first before I put minifigures down, uh, mainly so that I could see the whole creation. I'm be like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if we have those troopers coming in that way and the Mandalorians kind of fighting this way and kind of creating like a a natural-esque look where is if I'm deciding right now it's where to put many figures I might kind of lose some of that along the way so that's kind of important that I don't really think too much about that right now is really just about getting uh, the look of that uh, first floor that whole courtyard right um, so very exciting um, but yeah that's gonna be it guys next week hopefully I'll have those uh, bricklink orders in and we should be able to get closer to finishing the courtyard I, I, I say should because uh, I, I ordered a whole bunch of translucent blue pieces and I don't think they're gonna be here by next week so it'll take a week after so by let's see week four week five by week five I expect to be done with the whole first floor of the courtyard and to be working on around uh, the surrounding walls the staircase and then I also, I might, uh, next week, I might tackle that mural um, where the Jedi versus the Mandalorians, um, you can see it in that picture. It's not very clear. I'm going to see if I can find, if you guys can find a better picture of that uh, mural that's in that courtyard. If you look at that picture, I, I know I, I'll link it below the picture, uh, but if you can find like a higher quality image of that, uh, that'd be wonderful. Because um, I have some ideas how to make it a Lego, but I just need a more accurate picture for me to base it off of um, so that's pretty much the only challenge in terms of the courtyard area right now um, everything else seems to be going pretty smoothly but without you guys i'll see you guys next week a bunch of other videos are going to be dropping out uh, this week so don't forget to subscribe down below and see my other content other than that guys hope you guys have a great wonderful day Bye bye